what is up everyone Northside here welcome to my channel we are on a preview shard in this in this video I'm going to show you finally the Masterwork 7 uh, rings equipment weapons everything and how to obtain the actual recipes now funny thing is you can just buy them and the commissions that you have to fill you don't have to really fill it but if you want a free bark shield enchantment you can get it so let me turn on my UI really quick press J and you can see here that I have small craft advisory and reward is shining bark shield enchantment rank 9 however I need to earn Shandar favor 50,000 now getting those favors is through commissions now everything that it says commissioned light lantern commissioned light catcher for example here anything you can see that my masterworks are unlocked on every category here masterwork masterwork of Sharandar. that's how they call them okay so in order to get these there's a lot of people here you're gonna have to c talk to striker bronze pin and he will actually give you some information and here is masterwork of Sharandar. And you can see that each of these costs 500,000 AD. So 2, 4, 6, 7, there's 3.5 million to unlock all masterwork, Shandar masterwork recipes. However, prerequisite is to actually get other masterworks up, you know, 1, 2, 3, etc. So uh, they changed masterworks. So now we have Charlton masterwork, masterwork 1. To Charlton Masterwork, Masterwork of Sharandar, and Reiner actually explained this much better in his video. So if you want to check out how previous Masterwork works, you can go to him. So this guy actually gave me the quest, and here is where you fill the commissions. Now I did I'm not gonna craft anything in this one, and you can see how much you can get for creating or crafting these commissioned items. You're gonna need 50,000 for that free bark shield. Now we're going to switch to my workshop and I'm going to show you the items really quick. So let's go there and check it out. And I don't have to really uh, go to the table to craft the items, but just for the sake of the video, I will do it. So as you can see here, when you unlock Masterwork of Sharandar, you get new stuff. So we got crafted Potion of Accuracy, for example, and you will need new stuff. Now I have some of these new stuff, but I'm not going to go dig maps or uh, just buy and craft it for you. I will just show you that, for example, crafted potion of accuracy rank 13 grants now 5,000 additional accuracy for 3,600 3, seconds and persists through that. Then goes for the defense, critical strike, deflect and crafted potion. Um, of power rank 13 which is actually giving 4.55 thousand power for 3600 seconds persist through that very good now we're going to switch to armor smithing master work with sharandar and you can see here we got new new items favored lumber hardened favored i'm going to show you examples of for example armor favored favored barbute Survivor Savagery, when your health is 50% or more, your critical strike is increased by 5,000 when your health is below 50%, critical avoidance is increased by 5.5 thousand, probably a typo, maybe it's not, I don't know, but most of these, if I switch, for example, to Fabled Breastplate, we got Warden's Balance, when your health is below 50% or more, your power is increased by 5,000, when your health is below 50%, defense is increased by 5.5 thousand and each of these are giving the same bonus it's just 50 when you when your health is 50, over 50 percent you get something when it's down or below 50 percent you're going to get something else i don't want to go through all this there's a lot of them for different classes now moving forward to artificing masterwork or sharandar you can make an, again things that you need to make other items this is prerequisite to making weapons so here we go with the weapons now weapons i'm going to start with the favorite longbow now as you can see the item level is 1173 and these weapons are actually they can be plus one so it, you can get a little bit more stats for, for for example 440 critical strike 440 accuracy and 800 800 combat advantage but this is on green this is on rare this is not legendary of course but two of set you and nearby allies are granted by the following 
plus two outgoing damage, plus two percent outgoing healing, and minus two percent incoming damage. This effect may stack up stack up to five times, and that stayed the same. That stayed the same. They didn't change the bonus. However, they did change the item level. It's it's say it's the same for everybody, as you can see. Critical strike combat advantage. Here is the loot, for example, for the for the bard. So the stats are the same for everybody. Now we're gonna move on to blacksmithing. I'm gonna show you a couple of stuff. This is a barbarian weapon, favored broad slab. Also, you can see at the green level, but I'm wearing primals on uh, my masterwork. This is my masterwork account that I do masterworks on one of two. And actually, you can see that it's all it's it has higher item level and it could be useful in a group it could be useful uh it remains to be seen i will craft all the items for another video i'm not going to do it now and this is just a showcase as the title says and you can see that you can make fable club rapier also and every bonus is the same now jewelry crafting now we have four new rings glowing assault ring i'm gonna just show you what it does when you use a daily power, your damage is increased by 3% for 5 seconds. Daily edge, uh, 3.5 thousand critical severity, 1.1 thousand critical strike, 1550 uh, item level. Very, very high item level. However, is it worth it? Is it not? We'll see. It can be also be plus 1 if you have enough focus, of course, and everything else. Now, moving forward, glowing restoration ring. Survivor's Gift, your current hit points increases your outgoing healing up to maximum of 5%. Very interesting, very interesting ring. Favored Raid Ring, which is precision. Now, this is, this is kind of offensive ring. When you damage or heal your tiger for more than 50% of your maximum hit points in a single blow, you gain 1% critical severity for 10 seconds, maximum stack 5 times, as you can see here. And we have Dawn's Light Ward Ring. With Warden Salvation, whenever you're damaged for more than 15% of your maximum hit points in a single blow, you gain 5% incoming healing for 10 seconds. Uh, regarding the amulets, they are actually stay the same rega in regards to actual bonus. Two of set, when you use an encounter power, you gain a stack of Alacry, granting 1% accuracy and 5% movement for 5 seconds, stacks up to 3 times, which is ab absolutely the same as Master's one that we had. Uh, prior to this, I, I showed you this already. So you got Favored Amulet, Glowing Amulet, Torn Amulet, and Silver Vine Amulet here. It's a two of set and it's not nothing special. Really nothing special. Now, moving to leather working, uh, Fade Decorated Boots, Fade Leaf Boots. All of these items is when your health is 50% or more, your accuracy is increased by 5000. When your health is below, movement speed is increased by 10% and they change. They change for a petrified bark plate, for example, Warden's Balance. Again, when your health is 50% or more, your power is increased by 5,000. When your health is below 50%, defense is increased by 5.5,000. And they just change in the matter of, st of stats that you're getting. Your power or your defense, your power or your awareness, etc. So there's a lot of them. Last but not least, tailoring. We can see here that we got... Uh, torn sash this is a uh, part of those sets that i was talking about as you can see this is where you make torn sash the favored sash glowing sash which correlates with actually amulet torn amulet silver one amulet etc and also you can make uh, fade leaf boots again survivor strike when your health is 50 percent or more i don't want to repeat myself my accuracy is increased my health below movement speed increased 10 percent etc so these are the new masterworks of sharandar i will make the weapons for barbarian and if you want me to make any other weapons i will craft the weapons easily where we can uh, debate are they worth it or not thank you for watching this was Northside and Shout out to my channel members. If you have any requests to make a particular weapon to legendary, I will do it. Just give me some time and Northside is out.